This one's gonna be interesting. This one's gonna be really interesting. What's up everybody? My name is DZ and I'm Barry White. Practice what you preach. No, but for real, for those that don't know, uh, I am a multi-instrumentalist, like hardcore, real, true musician. I love music. That's majority of my life. Um, I can play almost, almost, almost every instrument. Some of y'all might be pissed at me with this video because you're going to be like, yo, what are you doing? This is something that I've been wanting to do since I was a little, little kid. This is the instrument that's going to catch everybody off guard, especially when you're looking at somebody like me that's more interested in like R&B, hip hop, jazz, reggae, gospel, blues, you know, just more, mostly soulful kind of music. I like everything, but pretty much everything, but mostly soulful music. Now, let me just show y'all what a brother got, okay? <laughs> and y'all might be looking at it like, man, that's just, that's just a guitar, but you're wrong. Y'all, it's a banjo. You weird, buddy. You're weird! Oh god, she ain't tuned at all. She's not tuned. Okay, now what is this? What is this? Yo, what the heck is this? Yo, what is it? Yo, is this like a finger pick? Like a finger pick or something? Yo, what's all this extra stuff? Is this a pick? Oh, uh, y'all, I was getting a little pissed off, but I just realized that this little thing right here, this little buddy right here, is a bridge for the banjo. Yo, how do I put this on? That's the real question. Y'all, just give me a few minutes to figure out how to put this thing in between the strings so I can know how to do this stuff. <laughs> First, we need to find the scale length. And we do that by measuring from the front edge of the nut to the 12th fret location. And on this banjo, it's 13 and 3 quarters. Now, you know that the scale length is going to be twice that amount, so it's 27 and a half. We're going to start by measuring at the 12th fret on the treble side where the highest string is and mark it on the head at exactly the same distance that we measured from the nut to the 12th fret, which was 13 and 3 quarters. Got it. All right, so next we want to be able to stand the bridge up in that location and have the base side of it lie right where that mark is on the base what, side of the what? head and likewise with the treble. All right, I got this stuff kind of on there properly, but now I got to tune it and I'm a little afraid because I'm afraid if I tune it, the, the strings are going to pop. So y'all give me a second, okay, while I tune this banjo. Bruh, which one's the G stream? Oh my god, I'm starting to regret this whole thing. Oh y'all, I finally got a tune, but let me explain to you the p Like I was saying, let me explain to y'all the problem I was having with this banjo. When I looked up how to tune the banjo, I'm, I'm going there with the mindset of it's gonna be the same as a guitar or a bass, because this has five strings. A bass got five strings. The strings for the bass is, if it's a five string bass, a low B, E, A, D, G. And then a guitar, six string guitar, standard guitar is E, A, D, G, B, E. That's the mindset I had going when I went to 
look up how to tune this banjo. I'm, 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 I'm trying not to get mad. This is nothing, nothing like a guitar or a bass. Yo, it feels a little weird. Like, it feels wrong. Like, not guitar, bass, like, correctly playing feel kind of weird. But I finally got to the point where it sounds like it's in tune, right? Like, this... I don't know if that's the correct tune, but it sounds like it's almost there. It just sounds like it's almost there. Like, like we're making progress, but a brother is sweating. Like, out the, the the amount of nervousness I was feeling when I was uh, trying to tune this tune the this banjo, I got so scared that I, I got more scared than tuning a guitar with this banjo. The strings feel so thin. They like. Every string on this banjo feels like a high E string on a guitar. No joke. <laughs> Your boy got a banjo. I was sound out of tune already. Yo, what the heck? So I'm back and I got these finger picks and I'm just, I've, I've never, I've never used this before. Um, I know how to use a regular standard guitar pick, but I've never used a thumb pick before in my life. Yo, how do you actually hold a banjo? Like, do you like, like sit it on your lap? I don't, I don't know how you play. How do you play this thing, man? <laughs> like this thumb pick. I don't like this thumb pick at all. I don't want to use this no more. That sounded terrible, but we're gonna make some progress. Ooh, my first chord, y'all. That, 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 that chord sounded smooth. Somebody out there is getting pissed off about this video. I mean, I know somebody who plays banjo seriously is like, mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta find a banjo song I can play for y'all. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. Is that the one? The heck is this? Okay, hold on, y'all gotta, <laughs> I gotta find something else easier because that's more like <laughs> professional, professional banjo players. Stevie Wonder, Superstition, that should be a good one. Hold on, I gotta find the right key there in. <laughs> That sound like you right there. We ready, we got it. This the one. Hey. Okay, that's enough. It's like the neck is much thinner than a guitar too. Well, um, I literally mentally can't do it right now. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna keep y'all updated with my progress on this banjo because this right here, this Jake right here, is 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 a little bit messy, a little complicated. My hands are literally big for this neck. This banjo belongs to the streets. Before y'all judge me, just hear me out, all right? I love music, I love 
play music i'm all for learning new instruments and stuff like that i don't know what it is about the banjo that caught my attention i just love how the banjo sounds i love i love rb i love hip-hop i'm more of a i'm more of a soulful person like i said earlier i'm not knocking nothing away from uh bluegrass i'm not knocking nothing away from country music I mean, there's some of those that I do like, but I don't listen to those as much as I listen to R&B music and hip hop and reggae and uh, jazz and blues, you know, all those other stuff. But it's just the look and the sound about the banjo that caught my attention. I mean, yo, this thing, it got a snare head for a body. That's, 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 that's one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to play the banjo or learn the banjo. But yeah, this this is a it's a learning progress, yo. It's a learning progress. I mean, if you could like this video, that would be great. That would be perfect. But <laughs> thank you all for tuning into this video. Appreciate y'all for kicking it with the kids. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter at one twelve dz underscore. And yeah, that's it, y'all. Uh, anything else I need coming up? Nope, that's it. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate appreciate y'all kicking it with the kid. I see when I can't get my words out, I usually, I usually get a little bit irritated because I can't get my words out. I appreciate y'all for kicking it with the kid. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social media at 112DZ underscore on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see y'all in the next video, all right? We just kicking it. Peace.